Hey guys, it's Jeanette with Anderson Alchemy here to give you your tarot forecast for the month of February 2018. This is for the sign of Leo. So if you have a Leo rising, sun, or moon sign, this is going to be for you. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, AndersonAlchemy.com. Now, Leo, I actually had already recorded your video and um, went back to check the audio and it was not good. Um, both you, uh, Aquarius, and I believe Sagittarius as well had kind of iffy audio, so um, fingers crossed that this one works. Um, so yeah, but anyway, let's jump right into your reading because um, I don't believe in... Um, you know coincidences so there's obviously something specific that um you know i'm needing to convey to both you aquarius and sagittarius that i might not have caught in the last uh time that i did the recording okay so let's jump right in now this month i am doing something a little different because of course we do have the uh new moon solar eclipse happening uh in the sign of uh, aquarius which is your opposite sign and that's happening in the middle of the month. So what I did was pull an oracle card, which will correlate to the theme for the eclipse for you this month, as well as um, how it will play out for the next six months, because that's how long um, an eclipse uh, affects our lives. So you actually got the card of insisting, okay? And to me, this is talking about um, you continuing to really push through and push forward with the goals that you have for yourself, uh, that what you are looking to achieve for the future, um, to also be making sure to share your ideas and um, get people excited about what you what you have planned, okay? Um, but it does feel very fiery, very expansive, which is definitely in alignment with your energy for sure. Okay, so I pulled cards for each of the primary areas of life um, as it relates to the eclipse in terms of how it might show up for you this month and also again moving forward for the upcoming six months. So in the area of health and wellness, you actually got the card two of pentacles. So this is uh, speaking to, you know, you being in the driver's seat in terms of what you're going to uh, be able to create for yourself in terms of your health so you know if you have been wanting to create more strength you know through weight training or more flexibility this is going to be that time to do so um, it will it would do well for you to stack the odds in your favor as much as possible in terms of keeping a routine because the two of um, pentacles is not necessarily a very grounded or stable energy it can talk about um, having ups or downs so you want to make sure that you are doing whatever is possible to keep yourself strong and healthy um, so that you don't have um, any health challenges sneak up on you now in terms of finances you actually have the six of cups and the Six of Cups is actually, to me, a really beautiful energy for um, your money sector because the Sixes do talk about expansion um, that can occur for you. Um, but because it's a Six, it's related to your collaboration with others as opposed to um, just what you're doing in and of yourself. So, um, you know, if you are looking to increase your money, increase your financial uh, prospects this month know that it's a situation where you won't be able to go it alone you are going to have to work in partnership with others okay now in terms of your relationships you have the prince of cups uh, which would be the knight and other decks and that talks about um, you taking action steps to actually offer your heart offer your emotional um, uh, support um, be open and receptive to feeling things a little bit more deeply than you normally do. Um, Leo, like a lot of uh, the fire signs, can have the tendency to think of self before others, but you are being asked this month by spirits, um, not, the, not just this month, but you know, obviously moving forward as well, to specifically take the actions to um, show your love and show up in an emotionally supportive way, okay? Uh, you can't take a back seat this time. This is a very active card. Um, and the same holds true for your spiritual development sector. You have the Prince of Dis. So again, you're being asked to take uh, practical steps to develop and stabilize some type of spiritual practice for yourself, okay? Um, whether that's, you know, making sure you meditate every day, write in a journal every day, uh, do yoga a couple times a week, whatever it is. Um, but again, you have to take the action steps to do that, to establish a little bit more of a um, 
spiritual infusion into your life and, and a little bit more spiritual guidance okay but overall it looks like this eclipse is going to be um, offering some uh, you some beautiful energy to work with now in terms of the month itself um i made a note if you uh on the aquarius video if you happen to have aquarius in your sign about the fact that you both got um two nine cards but your cards are, are different than theirs um, and that shows up in the, in the latter part of the month and we'll get to that in a second in the first week of the month of february you have the two of wands so this is speaking to you uh basically having to make some kind of decision about um the expansion of um a particular project or goal that you have for yourself is definitely um you know both options work really well but you are being asked to really tap into what makes you happy and what's really going to um take the the vision f much farther beyond than what you might have um, originally planned but it's a it's a beautiful way to start the month because in the second week we actually have the queen of this pop up so this could be a person that um, shows up on the path that you choose to take from that first week or this could be energy that you yourself am, are embodying which is about um you know being masterful over your money over your resources um being very balanced in in how you manage your life and also again staying um uh grounded in the vision and uh being mindful of the amount of time and what will need to go in to bring that vision into manifestation if this is not, again, your energy, this could be someone else who steps in who might be a benefactor, uh, might be a boss, might be an advocate on your behalf, possibly a mentor, or potentially a business partner, um, you know, that opens up a lot of good things for you. Now, of course, right after that, we have the eclipse, and then we move right into the third week, which uh, you have the nine of cups, and then you finish the month off in the fourth week with the nine of wands. So you are going to have a really strong um, into the month of February. Now, because you have two nines, um, this can speak to you kind of going into a bit of a hermit phase because you are working um, so much on what you're going to do or you're really focused on, you know, a creative project. Um, so just know that, um, you know, give a heads up to your loved ones that you might not be as available, um, but you still need to, of course, show up um, in, a, in some kind of a supportive way. But the Nine of Cups, uh, to me, in the third week also speaks to wishes coming true um, or a kind of a conditional yes, like you you are definitely on the right track. So, you know, again, whatever the decision that is made at the beginning of the month seems like it really is permeating the experience you have throughout the month. And um, this could be creative or uh, financial fulfillment as well that comes through for you, too, because of the Cups energy. And then when we end the month here with the wands energy in nine, nine of wands, this is talking about really being in alignment with your spirit, actually feeling like you are in your flow, um, being really um, connected to your, um, the divine's will for your personal life uh, is the energy that I, I really get from that. And I think what ends up happening is that this this new beginning that we're having with the eclipse is actually really going to catapult you forward into to something new and uh, kind of take you to the next level um, in the process that you kind of began maybe last year or the year before. I think this is like you're coming towards the 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 last third of the journey with this year coming up. So I think this is giving you the um, the extra boost and the um, uh reinvigoration that you need to to finish the race basically okay so that is your reading for the month of february um as well as for the um new moon solar eclipse happening in aquarius looks like it's going to be a really positive month for you and also the beginning of a wonderful uh period of growth and expansion if you would like to get a personal reading with me, of course, you can reach out on my website, AndersonAlchemy.com. But otherwise, have a wonderful month. I'll see you next time, and I love you very much, okay? Bye-bye.